There's a pattern here, isn't there? Almost every website follows some type of grid structure. But where's the grid structure coming from? As it turns out, CSS allows us to control how wide our elements are and how they're arranged on the page. But this should be a pretty easy task, right? Once we know what kind of grid we want, we should pretty easily be able to just snap elements to the right points in the grid. Looking back at the Udacity Courses page, we've got all of these classes listed on the right side of the screen. We've got options for making sure that they all fit within this column on the right. Either we could go into each class here and style its HTML and CSS individually to make sure that they all fit on the right side of the screen. Or we could create some kind of general CSS classes that define the styles that we need to keep all the courses in the right column. In fact, creating CSS classes that control layout is considered a best practice today. And we call these sets of classes frameworks. Let's dive deeper into what frameworks need to do.